welcome to a new video this time i'm going to show you a bit of the new 2023 dated nail artist banner this is an improved version with over 16 nail art templates including fit templates and personal nails pricing guides it's available in two different weekly layouts monday and sunday start this planner has some cover and color variations grouped in two collections. The first collection is called Celeste and has three different designs. The first design is this one. It's called Black Moon and it's available in the same purchase in blue and purple. So this one is the blue. The purple. This one is Pastel rainbow with rainbow tabs. So this is one of the universe planners. This is Candy Galaxy. And the other one is Consight. The other collection is called Hoosh and it's the regular collection. This design is one of the 2022 designs, but it's very popular. So we are going to keep it. This floral um, planner, it's going to be available in two colors in the same purchase. So this one is the peach color and it's version in blue. The second design of this collection is the trio leather. It has three colors and of course this one is beige, the green, and the pink planner. The last design of this collection is a black leather planner. It's called Black as Night and it has four metallic tabs combination. This one is rosé, this one silver, rose gold, and gold. So first of all, if you're new to digital planning, let me show you how to import it to start using it. So once you get it, you will see a PDF file with a link that will take you to exclusive Google Drive folder that contains your planner. I'm going to open files. I already downloaded that PDF I told you before. So let's open the PDF file. And you will find here the link to download your planner and everything included with your purchase. Once you get to that folder, you will see in this case, the planner black moon in blue, in purple, the icons included, the instructions and the hyperlinks sheet. Here you have the planners and if you enter, you will be able to see the Monday and Sunday start versions. And once you enter to one of those, you will see the horizontal and the vertical weekly layout. Once you pick one, I'm going to pick just for the demonstration, the purple one, Monday start, and I'm going to choose horizontal. I'm going to double click on it and open it. And here you have the option to download it. So this page is going to open. Now you have to click again, sh the share button. And then here you can choose where to save it. You can save it to files and you can open it directly with good notes. So I'm going to choose that option. And here in good notes, I will have the option to import it to a current document, but you have to take these options. So import as new document. Here you have all the folders that you have in GoodNotes app, so you can pick the location. I'm going to pick the one that I'm using, 2023 Planners. And I'm going to have there my planner. That's one option to import it into GoodNotes. Let's see you downloaded the planner into your files. So I'm going to click download. I'm going to wait for the options to appear. And then I'm going to 
share the um, click the share button again and pick save to files i'm gonna pick the location i'm gonna save and let's close that safari window so let's say i'm in good notes and i want to import the panel that i already downloaded into the files app what i have to do is this swipe to see the dog files up drag it drop it and i'm gonna see here the pdf with the link that i already had in this folder and the panel that i downloaded so here you have the option to just click on it and again click the share button and put open good notes or the easier way is to just Select it and drag it into GoodNotes. And then you have it there, okay? So that's very, very easy how to import it into GoodNotes. Okay, so to open up the panel, you can just swipe left or click here, the lock to open it, and you will see the first page. Then the first thing you're gonna find is the instructions. These instructions were made using the combination I used to plan, which is my planner, an iPad, an Apple Pencil, and this PDF annotation app GoodNotes. But my planner can be used on different devices with a stylus and another annotation app if they are compatible. You can always come back to the instructions by clicking the index or the template library um, tabs, which are these two. So I'm going to show you the index and instructions and sticker instructions are over here. So you click here and then you will see the instructions or if you go to template library, you can see the same buttons over here. So how a digital planner works? Basically, this is a PDF file that contains links. The links will help you to navigate through the planner as if you were flipping pages uh, in a real one. I would say the first thing to learn when you start digital planning um, it's to use the hyperlinks. So in this case, GoodNotes has a button over here. Once you click on it, you will see there is a bar here with tools and that's for editing. So let's say we want to click on these tabs. If we are on the editing mode, which is this one, and I want to touch it, I can't. I cannot click on it because the editing mode is on. So here you will see in the instructions to navigate, you need to click this button to turn editing mode off like that. Okay, so if I want to edit this planner and choose, for example, here the pen, I can choose a color and I can just write there. Okay, but if I want to click here can you see that I'm making lines but not clicking on it so you just have to turn editing mode off and then click on the tabs like that so the other important thing that you need to uh, learn at the beginning of the digital planning journey is that you cannot delete or move original pages I mean you can do it definitely but you shouldn't because that can break the links that we talked about and um, that's gonna be very confusing to you so um, in that case I suggest you to duplicate or copy pages so here you have all the instructions to learn how to do it so once you have the planner you will notice something that's very important to understand so these tabs around here are fixed tabs they don't change but this one here, this group changes according to the area of the planner you are in. For example, if I go to the nail section over here, I will see that these tabs change their names. And these names are related or these, these links are related to the nail area. Okay. So if I go to finances, for example, I will see something that has to do with money. 
So in this side of the instructions, you will find uh, ways to customize your um, texting, either if you are uh, handwriting or entering text with the keyboard. Over here, you will find a link to get to the website and enter the freebie club. So you can get free stickers, free planners. And over here, you will find a link to the my social media, especially Instagram, where I can uh, share some tips and tricks. And also here you have the hashtags in case you want to share your designs, your creative side, so I can share with our community your creation. Okay, let's go to the index. Here you will have all the calendars, um, the yearly calendar, yearly overview, the month at a glance, finances, social media, everything that has to do with uh, monthly. And over here, you will find the template library, which is separated by areas. Here you will find finances, nail business, wellness, mindfulness, home organization, and leisure. Uh, over here, you will have the note paper templates and the custom notebooks. Um, the purple areas are not clickable. So a square shape, no, but you can't uh, click on the nail art and crystals of the square shape in uh, extra extra small uh, template. So over here you have the months and over here these custom notebooks for easy access to one, two and three. So in that case you can just write the name here of the notebook and after each uh, section you can add the pages that you want you can fill up with, for example, the note paper templates or a specific template of one of these areas. So you can customize your planner. So I'm gonna show you some layouts. Let's go to March, for example. This is the monthly calendar and you will see the smart tabs change according to the calendars. So. If you see the monthly calendar here and you go to overview, you will go to the overview of March. Okay. If I go to June and I click overview, I will go to the overview of June like that. Okay. So the monthly calendar and the same with the other, um, with the other tabs, except for the shopping list and trackers, because that's, um, for the whole planner, the same uh, page. Okay. But overview, money flow, and social media are tabs that are related to the month that you are in. So let's go, for example, to money flow, and you will see March over here, a small calendar. Um, all these are linked to the weeks, so you can click on it. Here you will have um, all the information that you need for the month. And if you go to social media, the same. That's the schedule for posting on your um, social media apps or platforms. And a part of those three tabs, you can get to the shopping list no matter what month you are in. And also you can get to the trackers. Once you are here, you will find that these are linked to the weeks. So let's say we want to go to the 16th day of the month, I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna see the weekly layout. In this case, this one is the vertical weekly layout and um, it's included as well with your purchase, the horizontal layout. Let me show you. So that's the horizontal um, layout. But I know there are some days that are busier than others I included a undated daily template. So uh, in that case, you can go to organization, undated pages and the daily page. So here you have your daily template in case you need to write down a tiny bit more than usual. Okay, so I told you before that um, the areas are separated here and um, normally these groups are represented by one of these tabs, okay? So the nail business area is this little uh, polish bottle. Finances over here. Wellness is the heart. Mindfulness is the lotus flower. 
and home this little home of course organization these papers and uh, leisure is this plane um, the note paper templates and the custom notebooks are not over here because the custom notebooks are in the side and the note paper templates can be um, you can get to those over here in organization um, note paper templates and undated pages okay so note paper templates and you can see all the ones that are available and undated pages the same you can see everything that is undated over there okay let's go to the nail area you can get to the nail business area through the template library or you can go to this little tab over here and you will see all the tab all the charts all the tables that are included but over here you will see the templates um, for nail art and um, this one includes five shapes, square, oval, coffin, glitter, and almond, and also includes some uh, fit templates. These are divided into two groups, the nail art and the crystal placement templates. Here you can see the sizes for each shape. For example, if I want to go to square to uh, XL, nail art i'm going to click here but if i want to go for example to the extra long square for crystal placement i'm going to click over here okay so this one uh, is two lengths per page here you will see the l and the xl okay these uh, nail crystal placement templates have two um nail bed sizes so this one, oops, so this one, let's say it's um, small to medium length of the nail bed. And this one is, of course, uh, longer. And you will have the same for each length. So M square, S square, L square, extra L square, and the same for the other shapes. Okay. And the same here, so if I go to coffin, let's say the L length of coffin shape, I will get here the shape and length to confirm it's you are in the right place. And you will find both hands and also the template with the 10 nails if you want to see how it's going to look inside the box, for example. Um, over here, you can put all the details about the, the design and all the details about the design with the customer's um, requests. So, as you can see here, there are several, several nail art templates. Um, they are organized by shape, by length, if you want to work with crystals are over here and and over here for feet you can go to the nail art template or um, you can go to the crystal placements so you can do the jewel design uh, directly on the nail template for feet or if you want to see it with um, the skin it's over there and the other thing that I wanted to show you is that apart from um, all the nail art templates included, which are much more than the previous uh, planner, I also included some guides uh, to know how to price your press on nails. Um, I know that can be sometimes uh, hard to do, but with these guides, I promise it's not that much. You will find guides for pricing list with an explanation of um, the based and variable costs, the hourly rate, the labor, uh, what is profit, etc. And yes, that's the business area. It contains a lot of uh, special tables, charts, tools, templates that will help you to um, work with your business. But it also contains other areas. For example, this one, it can also be related to the business um, and you will find everything to each month also for your health wellness mindfulness and organization and much more of course so yeah 
that's all for today this one is for closing this was all for today and i appreciate that you stay with me until the end of the video i also hope that you enjoy the planner um i'm working on some of these designs in an undated version in, in case you are interested in um but yeah that's coming and if you have questions please let me know i'm here to help thank you bye bye